Hi, my name is Joshua Corbin. I am a student at the Evergreen State College located in Olympia, Washington. This is a demo of my SAP1 Logic computer. I used Logisim to build this, and it's this really awesome program that allows you to build logic circuits and, you know, just logic-based computers. It's really cool. I highly suggest it. The SAP1 is a sequentially based computer, so it requires a clock to step through its different commands. It uses a 8-bit wide data path, which is called the W bus here. That's what these two wires are, so your low 4 bits and your high 4 bits. It uses six different registers, um, so you, which you can see here. So this is the counter. It basically tells you what step you're currently at. Um, it uses the memory access register, which is a register that dictates which location in memory you're going to access. And using that access, this is memory down here, so using that location, you give an instruction using the instruction register to the controller which then changes um, the different activity of the wires to do the different commands, which are found over here to the right. Um, over there. So the register A is the accumulator, which is half of the math um, circuit, I guess as you could call it. And register B is the other half. And they use this add or subtractor logic in the middle to either add data, so add value, so add what's ever in A to whatever is in B, or subtract it as in B from A, then put it back out to the W bus, which then gets transferred down here to the output register, where basically you can just you know look at the results. So 5 plus 11 minus 6 would give you a 10 in binary, or, and this, I use a hex um, display as well. So these, these pins are just basically here for, for sort of like an old school view on it, so if you built it hardware-wise. All of these, um, files are located online at my website, joshcorbin.com. They are free to use, open source, do with them whatever you want. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to give me an email. Okay, so let's see what this thing can do. Um, the instructions that are currently coded into it are found over here to the right. This is assembly language instructions. So basically, using the first instruction, you load register A. The second instruction loads register B and then adds that to whatever is in register A. The third instruction subtracts what you put into B from register A. Um, the fourth instruction output basically takes what's left in register A and moves it down to this output um, register here, which then gets output to the LEDs, or well, output pins in this case, or the hex display off to the right. And then HALT is part of the program that basically just stops everything. So once that goes active, the clock no longer runs. The SAP1 uses six T states, which are basically transition states from one line of logic to another to do different commands. So for each of these assembly language commands, there's six different things that happen in the background um, down here in this controller circuit. Um, so to completely do one full command, you need to cycle the clock six times. So let's try that with the load A. So right now we've got the first command C. So that zero there means load. And then the eight over here in the RAM, that means you load whoever is in location eight within the RAM. So, it's a, so it actually is the number five. So we're going to cycle the clock six times. If you notice now, register A has a 5. So then we're going to add, the next step here is this 1, 9. So 1 is hex for 0, 0, 1. So it's do add to A whatever is in location 9, which happens to be 11, A1, which is in hex. So we'll do that another 6 times. And then while I'm clicking on these, you can notice that things are moving around the W bus. That's what these parts of there for, this four bit binaries is to show that. And then here's number six. And we have right here, 16 in the A register. Cool. So the next step is to subtract. So that's what this two is here. It means subtract whatever is in location 10. So that's six from, so you put that, you put six into register B 
and then you will subtract it from register A. And then, so we should get A0 after these next six clocks. There we go. So A0 is up here. So you can notice down here, register B contains six, which was subtracted from, you know, A6. So we got A0. Then the next command is to output it. That's what this E0 is. And we'll keep clicking it. Then, e oh, here we go. So we've got our correct pins here. So it starts at zero and goes up to seven. And then we've also got our hex. So we got A0, we got what we wanted. And then we just keep clocking it and then it should call the halt command, which is at F0. And then when that goes active, you notice that, there we go. Notice these wires turn blue. It's because on the halt command, what it does is it inverts the line so the clock can no longer run. So five plus 11 minus six gave us A0, which is 10. And it halted our, our program. So it works completely. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me an email. My email address is josh at joshcorbin.com. Um, or you can leave a comment here. You never know if I'm going to respond to that, though. Um, have a great day, and thanks for checking out my project demo.